Hi, today's tutorial will focus on government bonds and how to assess a country from a sustainable investment perspective. As previously mentioned, it is now a fiduciary duty for investors to integrate ESG factors into their investment processes and their risk management. Government bonds issued by countries are no exception to this rule. Let's give it a closer look. The crisis of 2008 showed the extent to which high debt renders a state's financing vulnerable to shocks on financial markets. It also seriously questioned the status of risk-free investments and showed how sovereign bonds of more sustainable countries are more resilient during crisis periods. Many links have been proven between ESG factors and a country's long-term economic growth and development. Academic research has demonstrated a correlation between the quality of a country's governance institutions and its debt default risk. In turn, good governance underpins the implementation of policies that foster the social and environmental dimensions of sustainability. On the contrary, unsustainable factors such as corruption, lack of freedom, or red tape are known to be detrimental to foreign investments in particular. Our globalized economy is confronted with major challenges, among which the demographic challenge, the scarcity of natural resources, the technological risk, and not least, the climate change. All these challenges are interconnected, as illustrated by the experts from the World Economic Forum. Therefore, one option to analyze a country is to adopt a holistic approach to the three factors, environment, social, and governance and consider them in any analysis of countries and the sovereign debt they issue. As with any economic actors, the states must be analyzed according to a matrix integrating traditional financial criteria along with the ESG dimensions. For the governance criteria, start with assessing transparency, democratic values, political rights, and civil liberties. Political stability and population well-being may also be key elements to a sound investment climate. Regarding the social criteria, it involves the state investing in the well-being and knowledge of its current and future generations. Education and innovation are key factors for a sustainable future as they ensure employment rates, productivity growth, future tax revenues, and therefore economic growth. The last criteria relates to the environment. Responsible management of resources and of environment are crucial. The Paris Agreement may be an essential criterion in assessing a country's environmental sustainability. A country's commitment to reducing its future emissions provides a good starting point for evaluating its future stability. Carbon risk also exists in the sphere of sovereign investments. Integrating this factor into the sovereign investment evaluation is key to investors, as it represents an economic threat. A country's carbon footprint is therefore also to be considered. To summarize, a successful economy must operate in an appropriate democratic framework composed of highly reliable governance institutions. It should also respect its international commitments, treaties, conventions, etc., as a sign of reliability and responsibility. It should invest in the well-being and knowledge of its current and future generations. It should engage in the sustainable management of its resources and its environment, monitoring its environmental capital. Finally, it should be able to ensure that the needs of present generations are met while not compromising those of future generations.